Hey Scorpios, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for you guys from October 7th to October 14th. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, how are you guys doing? Venus just moved out of your sign or it's going to today. So um, let's see what's going on with Scorpios. If I get too many reversals, I'm not going to take them. This is Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. We've got Three of Cups and Four of Cups reversed. Okay. I'm going to keep pulling more here. Wow, look at this. Two of Cups, the Hierophant reversed. Hmm. I feel there's a soulmate situation here, but I also feel like yeah, someone is not trusting their intuition and someone is um, afraid of a sort of like a commitment here. And they're also, um, I feel like consulting or caring too much what other people involved think. Like, it's not necessarily a third party situation, but it's like, I feel like they're, they care too much what people think. Okay, that's the feeling I get. And it's almost like they're not following their heart. They're not following what they really want here. There is like a bond here, but I don't know why this person is afraid to. Um, and they're not like spiritually connected either. Okay. Gemini energy. Two of Cups is here, which is beautiful. Um, hmm. Let's get some clarity on that. The Empress reversed. Look at this, you guys. The star reversed. It was... Re Are all these reversed? No. Okay. Page of Pentacles. Hmm. I'm getting the feeling that someone here, um, they've been really hurt in the past and they kind of lost hope. They kind of lost a connection to the divine. They lost a connection to themselves. And I feel like they like to focus on like things that are very practical, tangible, um, things that they don't have to be spiritually connected because it almost like hurts too much to get spiritually connected here is the feeling I'm getting, okay? So if you're dealing with someone who's kind of like um, closed their heart to you or seems like you're like, I don't get it. Like we had such a connection. I don't feel like it's personal. I feel this is like some kind of defense they did to not get hurt. Um, you could be dealing with a Libra, Taurus, Aquarius, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Taurus, the Gemini. Okay, so a lot of Taurus coming up here. Um, I'm going to get more clarity on this. Interesting, guys. A very interesting energy I'm getting there. Um, because there's a lot of, like, major arcanas reversed. Um, and it's like, I almost feel like they feel like they have to kind of think, keep things surface level to function because there's too much pain there and there's too much feelings that if they were to tap into it, it would just be too overwhelming. That's just kind of the feeling I'm getting. So let's get some clarity on that, Scorpio. Okay, this card just fell on the floor. Oops, sorry. Nightmare. Yeah, this person I feel is running from pain. That's the feeling I'm getting. Psychic protection, shield, bad dreams. They're very haunted by the past, with number five here. They're literally escaping their fears. Um, they literally just, um, they don't feel strong enough either to face these things. Supernatural, inexplicable, miraculous, otherworldly. Um, I feel this person may have tapped into the spiritual realm and it felt too overwhelming. I mean, this is Scorpio energy. So we're talking about Scorpios here, uh, but the person you're dealing with as well. You as a Scorpio could be kind of a little bit, I don't want to say too intense for them, but like you could bring out this darkness, bring out this spiritual side that they just don't want to go to because they don't feel like stable enough to do it. Um, there could really be something about if you're like into the occult stuff that scares them, not because they're like, they're judging it, but more so because they don't trust themselves. Okay. Yeah. Look at this. And that, oh my God, you guys. Okay. So Taurus, the Hierophant was reversed, which is also religion. It's something about, um, spiritual differences here is the feeling I'm getting. And, um, it could even be messages they received from religion growing up that like, 
if you are someone who's into tarot or you're obviously if you're watching this you are they um they have this uh, preconceived notion about this kind of stuff and i think I think they're curious because obviously if you're thinking about them, you guys have had some sort of connection, but I don't think that they trust themselves or they trust it. Interesting. All right, let's get some more energies here with the sacred symbol. Nothing wants to come out. Okay. Time and stormy yeah I, look you guys they're going through stormy times here so i feel eventually they will actually reach for the divine because that's why stormy times come is to force us to be more spiritual but right now they're just trying to survive and it's easier for them to close their eyes to things that to cover themselves to run and hide that's really what i feel is going through this person and it's like you bring that probably that illumination to them that they just can't deal with like they're really going through stormy times here wow i can't believe time and stormy came up and we have nightmare we have i do feel like they're trying to find themselves i do feel like they're trying to figure out um and i hate to like make this reading all about the person you're dealing with this could even be you guys you guys could be having sort of like a mirrored situation with this but um I feel like this is just the energy you're dealing with. I feel like you guys may be really wondering, like, what is going on with them here? Okay, so that being said, I'm going to get into Rising Sun Oracle Shadows, Soul Activation, and see what stormy times they're dealing with. What are the shadows here? Victim, okay. This person still has some victim mentality to um, sort out here interesting passive these are both heart their heart is broken guys okay so this is a lot of defense within the heart space they also are not strong enough that's what i'm saying they're passive they're like they're they rather be in this non-fighting role here unexpressed and they're re they're also repressed here okay so what do they actually want to say i'm going to go into the hidden truth oracle from all things intuitive and see what do they want to express here we've got two heart chakras and a throat chakra so they're definitely holding back their feelings here um they feel held back in general i love you unconditionally look at that we started off the reading with that two of cups so i do feel at their heart of hearts they do that's the th that's the beauty of this and so it's like because their soul loves you unconditionally i feel like Whatever pain they're maybe putting you through, through the absence is actually in a way their soul knows it's helping you in some way, okay? I wish I could take back my words. Look, unexpressed. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. Hmm, okay. So there's regret here, guys. I couldn't let you get close to me. That's what I've been saying. This person definitely has a guard up. Wow. Wow okay then let's get one final card or two from heart and soul love oracle from carrie from celestial forecast so what do they want to say to you from their heart of hearts i mean they've already told you all of this i love this guys this is beautiful this person, you know that you have a soul connection. I think that's why you guys are so frustrated here. Because you're like, I don't get it. Like, I know they love me. And it's like, but sometimes people can love you, but they still can't handle you being in their life. That's what it boils down to. Hmm. Declaration just wanted to come out, but I keep feeling like I'm not ready to take these. Okay. Okay. Whatever comes out next is what I'm taking because a lot has the truth. Wow. And the future. I've always pictured you to be a part of mine. Never in my wildest dreams did I ever think that things could have gone so wrong between us. Our deep bond has ripped into shreds by deception, third parties, and trust issues. My future, I don't know what it holds, but now I know you... This, I'm saying, you guys, it says our deep bond. That's what I've been saying this whole time, starting off with the Two of Cups. 
I may look as though I'm over you, that life has moved on and I'm over it, going about my day to day and being fine with how things ended between us. Nothing can be further from the truth. The truth is I'm barely functioning. I need you. I miss you. I love you. I pray someday I can tell you face to face. Look at that. Unexpressed. I, guys. And then we've got Voyage. This has been a fantastic voyage between you and I. I can't wait to share more days and nights. I think in their heart of hearts, you guys, they still see a future with you somehow getting it together. But there, I feel there's something about their soul that knows it's better for you guys to be separate right now. And although on, an, on the 3D level, it seems like they're just ignoring you or they don't care. It's actually their soul's way of allowing you, you to work your own stuff out as well right now too. And you guys have to kind of go on your own paths before you could get back together and trust that if you're meant to be the future will bring you back together i love it guys all right thanks for tuning in if you're new to my channel please subscribe like and comment i will always comment back to new subscribers thank you guys so much for being here i'll see you guys next time bye